Welcome to another instalment of the Drunken Heathen Challenge. Let's see what fresh pile of bullshit Kind Heathen has sent to me this time. I feel like this video is long overdue. Shh, you're telling me. I've been avoiding doing this one all week. Hello, YouTube. Hello, crazy cat lady. Today, I'm making a video because I'm sort of agitated. Aggravated, annoyed, high on cocaine. Basically, I'm in a terrible mood today. There's no reason for it at all. Bloody hell. Unprecedented. But I started to rile myself up earlier today and I decided to make a video about it because what better way than to share your entire life with the YouTube? I think you might live to regret that one day. I am so annoyed. I've had it up to here. Single shaming. I feel like I'm being single shamed all the freaking time. I'm single. I'm single. I am very single. I'm single! Oh, really? Because you know, you seem like such a fucking catch. And I'm very happy to admit it. I'm single by choice, not by chance. I chose to not have a boyfriend. It's not like one of those cases where I can't get a boyfriend or forever alone. I just decided I don't want a boyfriend. I don't need it in my life. I like being alone. You know, it's not often I feel as though I can speak on behalf of my gender. But on behalf of my gender, thank you. But apparently, I'm being shamed for that because for some reason, there's a stigma about me not having a boyfriend. I don't know what it is, but there is one. If you don't know what it is, can you be sure there is one? And you've used the word single seven times now in under a minute. Could you be projecting this stigma onto yourself or is it genuinely everybody else's fault? Here's the stigma, here's me, single. Eight times, fucking hell. I'm not doing this to get attention or anything like that. I'm not saying this to be like, I don't want a boyfriend, but secretly I want one. I genuinely do not want a boyfriend. Don't believe you. There are a few reasons why I should never have a boyfriend. Reason number one. You might reproduce. I'm way too selfish. I like going out to concerts. I like going out to eat. I like going out to the movies by myself. I like going out on the town by myself. I like shopping by myself. And when the time comes, I want to live by myself. Well, that's good. I don't think you'll find people queuing up to do those things with you anyway. So yeah, get used to being alone. Brilliant. I feel like there's this whole societal pressure that we all need to find a proper spouse or mate or whatever. And we have to find that certain mate in a certain amount of time, which is so stressful to me. And I can honestly say that there is nothing more stressful and demotivational in my life than having to deal with a boyfriend. Your jump cuts are more stressful than that. Fucking hell, does no one know how to speak on this website? I'm seeing someone right now, and to be quite honest, it's actually stressing me out more than it's making me happy. You're seeing someone. I, eight times. You said, in a minute, eight times. Having someone being genuinely, romantically interested in me freaks me the hell out. It freaks me out too. It's freaking all of us out. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I don't know how to fight it but I just know that I don't want a boyfriend. Well, bad luck, because it sounds like you've already got one, and believe me, you are not the only one having trouble coming to terms with that. And everyone keeps telling me that if I had a boyfriend, I would be happy and things would make sense. And I feel like in my entire life, there hasn't been one situation where having a boyfriend has made me just happy. It's always brought something along with it. I've been happy, sad, confused, annoyed, all of that at the same time. Yeah, it's like that though. Like nothing actually makes you happy all the time. Even with an Xbox or a PlayStation, you have to deal with system updates, server outages, and 10 year olds who fucked your mum. Just because of a boyfriend. Again, there's no reason for it. There's no reason why I should be so annoyed about not having a boyfriend. Not because I want a boyfriend, but because I don't want a boyfriend. Yeah, you see, the more you say that, the less I believe you, and I, I didn't really believe you in the first place. It's the principle here. I feel annoyed over the fact that I have to take care of someone else. I have to be considerate of someone else's feelings and thoughts and everything, and I don't want to be considerate. I want to be considerate about me. You can do that, though, with the added bonus of getting a bit of peen every now and again. And you look like you could do with it, love. Though your hair looks like you have had a quick knee trembler already. It's a very selfish way of thinking, and I know that, and I'm sorry, but that's how it is. But I just feel like it's a huge obstacle in my life for me to get a boyfriend. I think it's stressful. I think it's annoying. I think it causes me to actually get more upset over things that I would normally not get upset over. Aren't you doing that anyway, though? Right now? Reason 
reason number two. Oh, fuck. That was only reason one. I am way too superficial to ever find someone who aesthetically pleases me enough to make me want to love them forever. That's not superficial. That's beggars being choosers. What can you do? My name's Nina, I'm the most selfish motherfucker in this entire world. I think everyone has this sort of issue about saying that they want people to look good as well as be nice. But I don't have a problem with it. You look like you have a problem with it. You are neither of those things. I am a self-centered, superficial, shallow person. There's a reason why I'm single. Ah, oh, no, oh, don't, don't get so close like that. Fuck. I thought you were going to ask me for spare change. But the most annoying thing about being single is the fact that people tend to think that I'm not happy because I'm single. Well, I mean, starting that bit with the most annoying thing about being single does suggest that you are annoyed with being single, even though apparently you're not. I, ain't, well, I, I just don't know anymore. That because I'm not in a relationship, I'm not happy? Which is totally stupid. I am the happiest I've ever been when I'm single. And I know that all these things are going to change once I find that one and only. I can't keep up with the amount of times you contradict yourself. I feel sorry for Mr. One and Only, and for whoever finds him swinging from the rafters. I'm so genuinely upset over the fact that I can't be single without anyone judging me for it. I can't be single without people asking me why I'm single. Well, here it goes. Ah, oh, shit, here it goes. I am in a committed relationship to myself. Yeah, and so's Angry Mugtow. He seems pretty highly strung too. Coincidence? I shouldn't feel guilty about not wanting to have a boyfriend. I shouldn't feel guilty about wanting to nurture the relationship I have with myself. Yeah, and I bet your fingers are raw right now, yeah? Fuck, open up a window, Nina. It stinks. But people make it feel like I'm such a bad person because I'm not in love with someone. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know if I've ever been in love. Is that weird? No. Is something wrong with me? Yes. Am I the problem? Yes. If you've ever been in love with me or liked me or anything like that, I'm so sorry because I'm literally the biggest ass in the entire world. Yeah, uh, I'll give you top 10. To my exes and everything, I'm sorry, but I don't know if I've ever actually been in love. And to her exes, I am also sorry. I've liked people. Why is it such a big issue for anyone else than me? I had a boy come up to me at a club. He was gay. Was he gay before that, though? And asked me, are you seeing someone? Nope. Why not? You seem like such a lovely person. You're so beautiful. You're funny. You're smart. That didn't happen. And I can't be single because of that? No, I'm just saying, like, why do you not have anything going on with anyone? Like, you should be in a relationship. Wow, you're a bitch. I had a friend who got into a relationship. She told me, you just have to find someone and you'll be happy. Was that a metaphor for multiple personality disorder? If so, bravo. How is that going to make me happy? I just spat everywhere. Oh, oh, and it's not because I don't believe in love. I just don't believe that there are anyone in this entire country, Denmark, that has a suitable soulmate whatever for me. I don't know, there's probably some sweaty truck driver somewhere with your name on it. I've looked, I've been there. I've been everywhere. Slut. So this whole thing about the bad mood and about single shaming started yesterday. It started last night and I was so annoyed that I decided to wake up today and- Aww, well, I mean, don't feel like you have to wake up tomorrow. And do nothing for five hours and then film a video last minute before I had to go to work. But I want to hear about the rest of you guys. Are any of you guys single or are you in a relationship? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. You're using your channel as a dating site. I fucking knew it. Do you like being single or do you like being in your relationship or do you not like being single or in a relationship? Do you fall in love easily? Do you have a hard time falling in love? I want to know if I'm the only person who actually gets into a state of mild depression over the fact that someone likes me. Yeah, I'm sure they're depressed about that fact as well. Don't you worry. Do I sound like a crazy person or... There is no or. There is no or. You, you, you are. You just are. There is no or. Do I actually have a point? Do you mean in general or in this video? Because if you actually fuck it, no to both. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being single. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being in a relationship. But I feel like we should stop shaming each other for our choices. I don't know. If a 40-year-old starts dating a 10-year-old, they are still going to get some funny looks in the lingerie aisle. 
Thank you, kind heathen, for sending me this challenge. Next time I'm fucking someone and need to last a little bit longer, I will think of this video. And you guys, make sure you check out kind heathen's channel. The link is in the description. And hey, remember, screaming out your single is the best way to stay single.